What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? Your boy GS, and we are bringing back the budget bums. You guys, I got a couple new additions to the team. My overall did go up because I opened a bundle, I don't know, last week sometime on a PS4. And, um, you know, streaming the PS4 for the folks that, you know, check out the stream that has PS4 that want opportunity to play me. I picked up uh, Ghost Des Brian. I picked up Dan Marino. You guys are going to get to take a look at my team in a second. I renamed myself Doug Garcons, and you guys will know why in a second. So here's my team. Still budgety, budgety, budget. <laughs> um, never played with Dan Marino. I don't know why. I just had the, the urge to play with Dan Marino, try him out, and, uh, you know, see what he does. So um, you are not mistaking. I do have three Pierre Garcons. <laughs> when I did that bundle, I was pulling Garcons left and right. Everywhere I looked, I was pulling a Garcon. And, uh, you know, what? we're going to roll with three Pierre Garcons. And, uh, you know, as usual, when I'm in the stream, I do my coin games. You know, I put up a contract with a unique bid and a unique amount of hours. That way you guys can find it easily. And the one person that buys it, you know, I'll, I'll invite them to a game. So, of course, I'm asking people, you know what, uh, please don't be too greatly overall. Like, this team really isn't high ranked. And, you know, uh, I would prefer if you're somewhere around my skill level. You know, if not, I'm not going to deny the game. You know what I mean? If you buy and your overall is 107, I'm not going to give you your coins back. But like, no, 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 no. You know, I'm an Aztec warrior, baby. So um, I'm not going to deny the game. But I was asking, you know, if anybody's around my skill level, I would prefer it. Because, you know, my team really isn't all that great. You know what I mean? I'm very competitive. And I would just hate losing to somebody. And um, if I felt like just because their team was better, I, I would, it would bother me for the, like the rest of the week. Because I take losses very hard. <laughs> so... I look at the first guy who buys the contract, and I'm like, my goodness, really? Really, Madden 25, Calvin Johnson? And I'm looking 99 overall, and I'm like, it's going to be a long game. <laughs> it's going to be a long game. We got Doug Garcon's 88 overall going up against the Super 99 squad. And I look at the remainder of his team, and of course, I'm telling the stream, I'm like, yo, really? You had to buy the... Couldn't somebody else buy this contract? You know, and I only had... Um, you know, uh, before my quarterback, it was like 93 Matt Ryan. So I definitely wanted to upgrade. And uh, so, you know, I feel like Dan Marino is a good addition. I got Fantasy Dez because he, he's a beast, man. He's very underrated in this game. Uh, if you guys are, you know, I mean, he's no Sean Taylor or Brian Dawkins or anything like that. But uh, he, he's a beast in another aspect of the game where if you put him in position, he will make plays. You know what I mean? He's not like. Sean Taylor, who will, you know, be on a, a deep blue and somehow still come all the way down and make a tackle on the screen. Now, he doesn't have the awareness like that. But, you know, what? like I said, if you put him in position, he will make plays. Right there, there's just nothing I can do about that. Madden 25, Calvin Johnson, the guy is a monster. Just throws it up to him, and there's nothing I can do about that. I don't have the secondary to stop that. I think I have Terrence Newman back there, because once I looked at his lineup, I had to make you know, Justin put my fastest guy out there, who I believe was like Gold Terrence Newman, who was like 89 overall or something like that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I got to play back because he's faster than, well, not faster, but he beats press, you know, very easily. He's a big target, and I already know I'm going to have trouble. Um, like I was saying about Dez, man, if you put him right there, don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody please. Remind that gentleman that he has a link to my channel. Let him know, do not throw the ball my way. Ghost Dez right there. I think he has like 96 catching. Right there was my fault. I went for the precision fade, but I threw it a little bit too late. And that will happen if you don't throw it within that 10 to, you know, 10 yard range. You know, you typically want to throw it before he reaches about 10 yards. I threw that a little bit after he ran 10 yards. Uh, right there, dropped interception. That right there uh, definitely hurts. Um... Usually, when things like that happen, uh, your opponent usually scores. Now, we didn't give up a touchdown, which is good, but we still surrendered a field goal, and uh, I feel like that could have been prevented. So, uh, going up against this super team, I really got to play mistake-free from here on out. You know what I mean? If my defense is putting up stops, you know, back-to-back -back stops, I definitely consider a field goal uh, a stop. I got to be able to, uh, you know, score points, and it's, it's tough. You know, going up against the 99th overall team, now, I know a lot of people say scheme over teams. Do I believe in that? Absolutely not. Hell no. I've lost to scrubs and mud. Scrubs. Fag D playing on the D-line 
Only using that one guy that's rushing, and I would get blown out. Why? Because his team is so superior to mine, it's difficult to win. You know, Mutt is a place where you can have a limited skill and have a beast team and be able to get victories because of other people's team not being as equal. And uh, I definitely don't believe scheme over team in, in Mutt. Absolutely not. Um, now, don't get me wrong. In order for me to win, uh, I have to be a better Madden player than him and uh, play, you know, play good. But if it was like reversed, I wouldn't have to play almost. I wouldn't have to play damn near perfect. You know what I mean? This game, because I'm on the other end of me having a good team, right there's the drop passes. I have to play damn near perfect. You know what I mean? So uh, it's three to three, and we're going to have time tie game. So you know when, when I say damn near perfect, it's like I, I really can't make two mistakes because this team is too good. They hit hard. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm gonna have trouble blocking his lineman. I'm gonna have trouble blocking his guys you know what i mean i'm gonna have trouble passing on his you know defenders considering my receivers really aren't the best so it's like um we, we really got to play smart throwing an interception was was no bueno you know what i mean considering we got one the possession before so uh we got to turn those into points so uh here we go second um second half and it's like you know what man we got to play smart uh and get down right there we do a double juke but i get down you know what i mean uh He's got some hard-hitting safeties, and you will see me habitually get down, like, right there. Don't don't even take a chance. Getting an extra five yards is not worth the possibility of somebody hit-sticking me. You know what I mean? So, um, just trying to play smart, trying to find my reads, and, and trying to get down as quickly as possible because I, I don't want to take a hit from one of these guys. Right here, we run to the outside. Looked like I almost had a touchdown. I thought that block was going to be picked up, but... Uh, due to Sean Taylor's speed and pursuit angle, he runs around the blocker, picks up the tackle, but we end up scoring anyways. So right now it's 10 to 3, and and I'm just hoping for you know a mistake. You know what I mean? So um, I've I've got a, I've had a beast team on my own. You know what I mean? When it comes to uh, Mutt, you know on Xbox One, I've had a tremendous team. And uh, when when your team is good, man, you can just really sit back and base the coverages, and the players will make things happen for you. You know what I mean? I could sit. And the two men under and dime, and still almost seem like a nano with the pressure coming in due to the high block shed and things like that. So I don't have that here. You know what I mean? So um, I'm, I'm trying to create pressure. I'm, I'm trying to blitz. I'm trying to play good coverage uh, right there. He made a tight throw. Good catch by him, and he ends up tying up the game. And uh, you know, fourth quarter is approaching. So it's like, all right. Um, he's definitely been doing a good job of destroying me with the tight end. So it's like, you know what? We got to key in on that. You know what I mean? I'm already thinking ahead of next defensive drive. I got to make sure I put somebody in position to stop that tight end streak because he's, he's destroying me with it. So, you know, right here, I'm trying my best to find somebody open. Nobody was open. We take a coverage sack right here really quickly over the middle. Thankfully, Olsen holds on to that. Fourth down right here, we back up and we throw a quick corner route. And thankfully, again, we hold on to it because, you know, again, I don't have the best receivers. I don't have... Guys who catching traffic is like 99, you know what I mean? So, uh, that Olsen that caught that pass over the middle on third down, he's like an 82 overall. He doesn't have the best stats, but he came up big right there. Uh, right here, we go to the makeshift screen, and we just slip by, and we get into the end zone. So, uh, this is the position I definitely would want to be in. You know, we're ahead. Uh, if he does score, hopefully it's quick. Um, you know, if anything, I should get last possession. Uh, but you know, we definitely want to be able to get a stop and definitely stop that tight end streak. So, all right, he tries to go deep to Calvin Johnson. He's been trying it all game. He has gotten successful a couple times, but thankfully right there, he does not. Uh, right here, he backs up, goes to the tight end streak. Well, not the tight end streak, but a streak up the seams and goes Des paying dividends. The highly new acquired free safety comes through with the snag, his second of the game. Like I said, if you put him in position, he will make plays. His catching is unbelievable. You know, it's 96. So you can really count on him to uh, hold on to the ball if you put him in position to um, be able to be there when the ball is thrown. So uh, two interceptions, right? Like, okay, right there, you can't do nothing about them. And that Calvin Johnson is such a monster. Um, beautiful pass right there, right over the top. Uh, really close to a touchdown. And, uh, you know, like I was saying, man, uh, it was a very, very tough matchup. He does score. He does need an onside kick in order to win, but we do recover, as you see right there. 
and we end up just winding the clock down, not even taking any chances and doing other plays, just, you know, take some knees. So we end up winning the David versus Goliath matchup. Tough matchup, but we end up winning. That's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace. Give it to